Always sometimes monsters. Let's play a thing. So, always sometimes monsters. I've played the demo. Um, and the demo was fantastic because they had an element to it where you were randomized. So, like, the uh, sex, gender, race of you and the person that you fall in love with was completely random. So it kind of gave this interesting perspective of, of it just being like, you're a person, right? You're a person and this is your situation. Thank you, Control Green. Thank you, Schizo Rabbit one I missed one, I'm sorry. And, uh, and I really liked that. And there are lots of different ways that the game can start out, which I think is cool. But um, I'm excited to play the final version of it because I really liked the demo and I've been looking forward to the game even before I saw the demo. I was like, this looks very interesting. So we're going to do a one cup. Um, I'm really proud of myself because I'm wearing my antler necklace and I'm also using my Hannibal mug. So there are antlers everywhere. <laughs> Thank you, Alpha Fusion, for your sub. That has nothing to do with Always Sometimes Monsters. I want to point that out right now. It's just, it's just... You know, really happy. Magroth J subscribed. Mighty Bebop subscribed. Yeah, thank you both. Ugh. Um, it shouldn't say I'm playing Dark Souls anymore. You might need to refresh if you care. If you care to see the right game that I'm playing. Uh, okay. So the reason that I'm playing always just before we start. I know I keep saying okay as though we're going to. It's like when a movie seems like it never ends. And it always has those good button moments where you're like, that was a great movie. And then there's another scene and you're like, tss, tss, tss. thank you, Lexter. Uh, the reason I'm playing this today instead of tomorrow is A, I'm not sure whether or not I'll be able to stream tomorrow, which sucks. I think I will. I'm pretty sure I will. It, but it might, be, it might be later. It might be even later than this. I don't know. I'll keep you guys up to date. I'll put up another announcement with a picture of my cats. But uh, I wanted to also do Among the Sleep. So tomorrow I'll play Among the Sleep um, if we're able to. And if not, then we'll have played Always Sometimes Monsters and huzzah and all that. Okay. This is, I think this is the final okay. <laughs> Thank you, Shinfo God, for your subscription. Perfect. Okay. Let's pull Always Sometimes Monsters in. If it is loud, I need you guys to tell me. Come on. take it out of full screen because otherwise it shifts everything and I can't see what's going on. So loud? Sound is good. Sound is great. Too loud. I'll turn it down just a little bit. good black screen oh no it's it's because it wasn't in there yet yeah <laughs> there's still black screen there shouldn't be any more No black screens, it's fine. Oops. LOL! Wait a minute. We're gonna do this. That way, I'm not covering up nothing! <laughs>
All right. <laughs> I'm like, I'm kind of nervous to play this game. I don't know why. I don't know why. I think it's because it's it's a game that's supposed to be like, you do stuff and you live a life and, you know, sometimes you're gonna make terrible choices. And I'm like, am I? <laughs> okay, okay. Let's do it. Hey. Oh no. Hey, why? I can't click it? Do I have to use a controller? No. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> you just don't use a mouse. That's the problem. Stop! Wait! Where the hell do you think you're running off to without me? I'm the boss, so you don't make a move until I tell you what to do. Got it? Um, I thought I told you already. Once I'm paid, worth throw. I don't need you controlling me anymore. No, you ain't finishing work yet. There's plenty of people I still need killed. Oh, he's an assassin. You don't get a say in anything until I decide you're done spilling blood. You checked that privilege at the door when you signed up for this job. Here I make the rules. Here I decide what happens. That's what you signed up for, right? Right? Right, sir? <laughs> hey, what did I just tell you? Oh, so I get to decide if I want to, like, go back to him or not. You ain't going anywhere unless I say so. Hey, F yourself. See ya! I'm telling you, you're making a mistake. Don't do something we'll all regret. Can I touch this stuff? Can I sleep on this really gross bed? Excuse me, sirs. Got a minute? Or a dollar? Hard times all around, guys. Hard times. Smelly vagabond fuck, get the hell out of my way. We don't have anything for you. Oh, I've heard that one before. Probably from you too. Different day, different street. Who knows? Maybe we used to know each other. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Winding up back here again? Goddamn schizo, you fucked in the head. Get the hell out of my way. Alright, we gotta... <laughs> Before you go, though, there's something I think you ought to take a look at. A gun! <laughs> well, you might say, I've been expecting you. Does it feel familiar, standing on this end of the barrel? Or would you feel more comfortable with your own piece drawn? Go ahead. I'll wait. Whoa! I didn't even get to choose that! That's right. Aim it right between my eyes. What the hell do you want, you nut job? What do I want? I like playing games, don't you? What do you want to say to giving mine a spin? Thank you, Loki481, for a subscription. I don't know what this fool's smoking, but if he doesn't put that gun down right now, you put a hole in his head. Of course, you can hurry this along if you like, and we can all be done with it if you wish. Like any of this matters, anyway. I want to tell you a story, though. One about the many choices we all make. At the end of it, you can decide what to do. The only rule in the game? Let me finish. No interruptions. Then the choice is yours. Or we can pull the trigger right now! Thanks, Robbie Rock, for your subscription! Sounds a lot less time-consuming, doesn't it? Either way, the choice is always yours. Predictable. I'll see you in another life, my friend. It's gonna be like the person I loved. Every story ends. Was this how it was supposed to happen? I don't. I don't know. Wait, was that the? <laughs> what? I just like effed it up, like right off the bat. I don't understand. 
continue? Wait, I- so I lost? <laughs> I just like lost the game if I sh- <laughs> Stop, wait! Oh, so did Dabity Dips. I'll be doobity dab dab doobity boobity dab dab doobity dips. Okay. Oh man. So do I still go this way or do I go back this way? Oh, I can't go back that way. Okay. Alright, okay. Dibbity dab doo doo. Boobie-doops. Booby poopy dabs. Dabby doo. Uddy duh. Dabby doo. Dabby dabby doo. Uddy doo dooby dabby dabs. Uddy doo be da. Labby dooby dopes. Cabby dooby heeby dee beeps. Poopy dooby bops. Uddy dead duh. Blooby dabby doo. Alright, we'll listen this time. <laughs> if you won't put that gun down, fine. Talk fat. Oh, is this me? Where's my body? Is that me? Oh, whatever. <laughs> there are many roads between yours and mine, but all roads start from the source. Oh. Have you ever been dragged to a party by someone? What if that party was life itself? Led by the nose, barely wanting to take part. Did you even have the choice not to go? It would take something miraculous to change you. But would you know the opportunity when it knocked? I don't know. Fairweather friends are sometimes hard to sort. A man with opportunity to spare knows this best. One such man of opportunity threw a party. He was looking for someone special, someone important. Not a lover, not a friend. He was looking for someone of substance. Whether it was the right choice or not, that's still up for debate. That night they toasted ambition, success, and more. Little did they know how steep the mountain was. Hey, baby. Oh my god, come on, hurry up, or did you change your mind? You can't invite all these people over and just leave me to take care of them, Larry. They're all weird. Why can't you have normal friends? They're all work friends. Writers, artists, wannabes. You know, like the one I was telling you about. Boss wants me to sign someone by next week, but I still haven't got a clue what I'm looking for. Well, just pick someone who's gonna do a good job. I don't want you getting fired over some fuck up. This apartment's way too nice for that. Yeah, okay. I love you too, honey. Okay. Can I be the cat? Hmm, nice kitty. Who do I talk to? Hey Larry, congratulations on the new job. Thanks, it's been a long time coming. Well earned though, I guess. What do you say to like a toast or whatever? Got this gin I wanna polish off. Taking it easy tonight, only one drink. Gin does sound like a good choice though. Yeah, let's toast. All right, let's drink. Give me a second, I gotta like run to the patio or whatever. I didn't want these boners drinking all my gin. There's someone that I think you should meet too, so. Always happy to meet the ball and chain. Don't go anywhere, Larry. I'll be back from the patio like before you know it. Oh, sick. Going out on the patio. So is this me now? I want you to meet my dog, Ruffles. He's like the best dog I've ever had in my life. He's really changed me, so. 
Wait, am I now? What if I'm now choosing like my love? Uh, I'm gonna close my eyes. See if I wind up next to somebody. Hey, did you get a chance to talk to Larry yet? Yeah, I like just spoke to him and stuff. He's waiting on a, I, I, I use the rando game. We gotta go though, he's waiting on us. We're going to toast that bottle that we brought. Oh, that's amazing. What are you waiting for? This is the perfect opportunity to bring up that book you and Sam were working on. Uh, do you think Sam would mind me pitching our book alone? I mean, I'd be kind of pissed if I was left out of the negotiations, so... You can worry about that later. If you don't get in there and butter him up now, you two will be drafting forever. Uh, I guess you're right, but we gotta make it happen first. Come on, do you, like, got the stuff? Shit! We forgot to sign the card! Uh, here, give it to me. I'll sign it first. I mean, she sounds like Dari, alright? <laughs> okay. Alright, my turn! Uh... Look, his nickname is Poop. It's not what his parents call him, but his nickname is Poop. Best wishes, Poop and Dar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me see that for a second. It sounds perfect. All right, Poop, let's go. Wait! Oh, oh. You gotta kiss me first. <laughs> Good luck! Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> always sometimes monsters. Always sometimes monsters. Always sometimes monsters. So, Larry, before we toast, let me guess, you've got a book you want to pitch. Look, just hear me out, okay? No need, Daria. There's a reason I'm toasting with you. I've seen your stuff. You've got talent, a lot of potential, but you're rough. I want to put a good word in with the boss, see if we can get you in advance. That's... I mean, that's super weird. But thank you. I'll get you something to show him, I guess. Ah, oh, this is too exciting! Let's toast for reals! To ambition! To success! To getting rich! I'll toast to world domination. It really didn't matter who set things in motion. The landslide had started long before that night. This version of the story needed a hero, though. Would this be the one? Yes. One year later. Oh my god, is this me? Is this Daria's house? Because it should be. Aw, look at all these names. Oh. Laser Destroyer Team. Good job, Laser Destroyer Team. I'm liking what I'm hearing. Choice is an evaluation of cost and benefit. Circumstance dictates the evaluation. Consequence takes tears it takes to the bups. In this system, there can be no right or wrong. Oh, hell yeah, this is my apartment. What time did I get in last night? Shit. Looks like Peeble's sleep monitor got reset. Gotta go to sleep with this thing tells me to. It's halfway to earning my one month circadian master sleep achievement. Let me just cycle through the modes and reset this thing. There we go. All set. 
They say the longest journey starts with a single step or something. Dirty clothes are the least of my concern right now. Whatever, Daria. Fine, look at the weird thing under your door. Oh, looks like there's a few notes under my door. Oh no! Um, attention, tenant of apartment 104. Your rent has not been received as of this notice. As a result, and according to your lease, this balance must be paid immediately, or you will be evicted at the convenience of your landlord. Your current balance is 500 DZs. This entire balance must be paid immediately to avoid further action. Blah, 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 blah. 30 days overdue. <coughs> Pay up, deadbeat. There it is. Ugh. It's always something, isn't it? Come to see if you wanted to get coffee. Best work at the Phoenix. Bought you were asleep. Don't be late, man. I vouched for you and my manager hates slackers. Oh. Well, at least I got a job today. You grabbed your apartment key. You grabbed your bank card. Wait, I want to go back. Ooh, do I write comics? That's not punk. Oh. It's not good enough. I'm not trying to look at my poster. Oh, I still got some of those pizza patches left. Sick. What should I microwave? Your pizza pouches, obviously. How long should I set it for? Uh... Oh no. Uh oh. Three minutes? Two minutes? Oh no! I overcooked them. No, you burned the pizza pouch! Boo! Oh, that's where I put that dollar. Sick! Bunch of old dusty books I'll like never read. Turn off the lamp? Yeah, why not? Oh. Let's play some darts instead of going to work. All this makes sense to me. Been wearing the same clothes since college. Why change now? True that, girl. I feel you. Oh, there's stuff over here. Oh, my bathroom. Take a shower. Nah. Another day. Uh, my life sucks. I hate my job. Uh, hey, old lady. Oh, where is it? I know it's in here. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Towelagger. Oh, pardon me, Daria. Am I in your way? I got so distracted looking through my purse for my little calendar. There never is enough time in the day, you know. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. There's, like, never enough time to play all the games. Heck, I don't even have enough time to pay my rent these days. Seriously, I think I'm done for this time. Where's your boyfriend? Uh, things didn't work out, so it's just me now. Oh, that's a real shame. You're such a good kid. Tell you what, if you need some money, why don't you come by my place later today? I'm hosting a little get-together tonight, and the place needs to be spotless. It'd be lovely to have some help. Sure. Oh, thanks for the offer. I could use it, so... Well, you know where to find me. Just come by any time today. Don't wait too long, though, or I'll get it all done myself. Have a good day, Daria. I hope you find what you need. Oh, thank you. Ah. Spy on? Wait, who else lives here? <laughs> Why not? Oh, is that a little kid? What is happening in there? Oh, it's just a dude getting high. I'm like, okay. Yes. May as well take a look. Oh. Yep. 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 
That's what I get. That's what I get for spying. <sighs> Ugh, cheap ass landlord. Like it's been a problem for months. Sounds like the landlord's on the phone. Might be able to slip out of here undetected. Fuck! Oh, did you mangy punk? Just where the hell do you think you're going? You're in a lot of trouble, you punk! You're a whole month late on your rent and I'm not in the business of sheltering jelly Are you going to pay me what you owe me or am I going to have to toss your ass out to the curb? Oh, you're serious about evicting me? I just need some time. I've been waiting on a check from my publisher. As soon as it arrives, I'll like totally pay you. Look. It's gonna be here soon. It's like not here right now, but it's like not a big deal and I'll totally pay you because I'm gonna clean that old lady's house or something. So it's gonna be here soon. Just give me until when the mail's been delivered, okay? I don't care if you gotta get some greasy businessmen to eat sushi off your body. Wow, man. You're out of time, little China girl. Pay me $500 by the end of the day, or you can consider yourself officially homeless. In fact, you know what? Hand over your key right now. You can get it back from me when you pay your bills. That's not a legal thing. I'm gonna run for it. I told you to hand over the key! You want me to just give you my key? Run away! Screw you, man, you're not getting my key. What are you gonna do, deadbeat? Just run away from all your problems? How's that been working out for you? Ugh, I'm out, I don't need this shit. You're an asshole, you know that? Catch you later, old man. See ya! <laughs> Alright. This guy's face is my favorite thing ever. Oh, hey, Dario. Uh, like, what's going on, girl? Oh, I'm good, Bellinger. I'm hanging around like usual, I see. Uh, I've got no need to walk around when I can see the whole city from right here. Uh, that sounds pretty productive. That dick of a landlord wants $500 for rent. He even wanted me to hand over my key. I said screw it and ran out on him, though. Dang, that really sucks, man. Well, I broke, so I can't help you with cash. I did find this rare Indy Heroes figure in the trash this morning while I was digging for breakfast. It's probably worth a few bucks if you want to pawn it off, or you could try and get all 60 of them like me. Give me a Charlie murder. Uh, thanks, Belly. At this point, I guess anything helps. If you ever get lost, you come see me. I know these streets like the back of my red golf shirt. Sick. Where am I going? Where's that job that I'm- that I supposedly have? Hey, rat. Oh, hey! It's the developers of this game! Excuse me, sirs. Hey! Hey, how's it going? Hey there, name's Nigel. Do you work here? Uh, no. I just kinda walked in just now. Oh, I've been looking for the guys that run this place. I heard they've got a neat little game idea they've been making. Yeah, I can't help you with that. I'm just passing through and wandering into, like, whatever. Oh, they're probably down at the coffee shop. If there's one thing that's certain it's life, it's that the game developers, they love the coffees. I mean, who doesn't love the coffees, am I right? No? Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Robocat! Bye! Who's this guy? Hey girl, you admiring my ride? Yeah, it's a pretty sweet truck if I do say so myself. Maybe we could take it for a spin together sometime. No, that's okay. Yo, hit me up later. I like, gotta go. Okay. Who are you, buddy? 
Hey, welcome to Dirty Don's Popcorn Stand, where I sell fresh popcorn and absolutely nothing else. I guess I could eat popcorn, so I'll like take a bag. Uh, what? No, I don't have any popcorn for sale, lady. I'm, uh, I'm out of popcorn right now. What? Why do you have a popcorn stand if you don't even sell popcorn? It's a front. Hey, it's a front. You ask too many questions, you know that? Fine, whatever. You'll buy anything, you say. Yo, girl. Yo, welcome to Dubbed Town's Dick's Place of Pawn and stuff. You should probably peep around at my stuff that's got a happening. I'm gonna sell. Aw, oh, should I sell it? I'll only get a dollar? Nah, never mind. Whatever, man. See ya. I ain't got money for that shit. Oh. What's going on in here, dog? Welcome to Charlie's Convenience. What can I get for you today? Uh. Or is that saying that I, I only have one dollar? What would I get for the collectible though? Wait a minute. Go back. Hold on guys, I'm going back to Dick's Pawn Plus. You're welcome to the place with the stuff. You should peep the stuff. Did it say? Whatever. Oh, 25 bucks? That's not even close to 500, but that's cool. It's cool. Yeah, I'll sell it, whatever. Cool, now I have more dollars. I don't know who you are, but I really wanna to go to the bacon barn. Oh, hey. Hey, you there! Um, are you talking to me? Come over here for a second, would you? Uh, is there something I can help you with or what? Where is the guy? The guy isn't on the screen. That makes me sad. I want the guys always on the screen. Dollar, dollar bills. Okay. <clears throat> Straight to the point. Right. You look like a savvy investor. Have you heard about Sandwich Futures before? Uh, no. So Sandwich Futures are a way to invest in, well, sandwiches. Every day the price changes depending on market conditions, homeless shelter population rates, and other factors. The idea is to buy low, sell high. If you're smart about it, you have the potential to make a pretty penny. Um, I guess that sounds interesting. Not only are sandwich futures fun to own, but if you do happen to ever get mugged, the downtrodden lowlifes usually don't think to grab a stack of anything but cash. So in a way, they're also a good way to hide cash and stick it to the fat cats in the bank. Um, thank... I guess so. Right, well I need to head off to my hot yoga class. You can buy and sell sandwich futures at these handy terminals found at any bacon barn. Happy sandwich investing! Okay, we'll see ya. I don't know if I want a sandwich anymore. I don't know about this. I do want the bacon though. Welcome to the Dobstown Bacon Barn. How may I bacon up your day? Ah, oh, bacon burger. Ah. Uh... No. It's fine. It's fine. I don't need these things in my life. What is happening here? Hey, cutie. You look like a girl with good taste. What do you think of my new dress? It cost me a fortune, but I think it's hot. It looks great. It looks really good. Definitely worth the money on a hot body like yours, lady. Oh, I like the way you talk. My name's Haley, by the way. So, um, I was looking for someone to, like, do me a favor. I don't see why it couldn't be you, you lucky butt. Well, I mean, I, I, well, you know, Dirty Dawn over by the pawn shop. 
I heard he's got these tabs, like happy pills, I think he calls them, that make you feel like you're having the most orgasmic sex with God. Uh, that's, well, that, well, if I give you 50 bucks, could you go pick some up for me? I know it's silly, but I don't want to lose my place in line. You're second in line! You're only second in line! Alright, how many pills should I ask for? Uh, that should buy you like 10 pills, so bring them all back. Might even share with you if we party later. I got 50 bucks. Sounds easy. I'll go do that, I guess. Wait, there's one more thing. Don's got some trust issues, so you're gonna need this. Sealed envelope? Uh, what is that? It's just a little message from me to him, you know, to prove you're cool and not a cop and all that. Well, <laughs> duh. Keep it sealed until you see him or he'll be super suspicious. When you get there, open it and read it out to him. Simple stuff. Uh, gotcha. Okay, well, have a good life. Cause I'm gonna steal your money, bitch! <laughs> Where was I supposed to work tonight? <gasps> There's a hole. Is that not a hole? Oh, I thought maybe I could go through that. Oh look, Jesse's now playing Wolfenstein. Oh. Hey, there's a gas leak, so I can't let you pass. Should be cleared up in a day or so. Aw, oh, poops. Well, hey, I just wanna go, t I just, I know, I just, uh. I'll just start working here. Boop, boop, beep, boop, 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 beep, boop, 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 boop. Give me 500 bucks. Right, guys? Right, everybody? Hey, meat guy. I'm gonna come back here, okay? You cool with that? Hey, meat guy, can I... No? <sighs> you here to buy some meat, or what? No. I don't want your meat. Hey, lady. Did you find everything you were looking for? What if I go to the police with this envelope? Can I still keep the money? Hey bird. Yo dude. This morning for breakfast, I had a glass of orange juice, but I forgot I had brushed my teeth first. Okay. No, I don't wanna fish. I wanna, I wanna jump in the, I wanna go swimming. here. The bank! Time to rob a bank! Time to rob a bank! Hello ma'am, welcome to Nation's Bank. How may I help you today? Um, I'd like to draw some money or like check on my account or something. Oh, I'm sorry ma'am. Due to budget cuts, any in-person banking is now limited to check deposits and raising your interest rates. Feel free to visit any of our conveniently located ATMs anywhere in the city for all your banking needs. Hopefully, you know your PIN. Uh, thanks. I don't know my pen, you you asshole, but whatever. I want to rob this bank. How do I rob this bank? Oh, that's blood. Hey, old man. Look at that blood. Hello there, fine lady. Uh. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, am I back where I was? I'm back where I was. Okay, what's going on on this side? Hey. hey there, pretty lady. You got a second to invest in a sandwich? I'm trying to focus on a sandwich. I haven't eaten in at least seven days. Uh, sure, I'll give you a sandwich. Here you go, pal. A fresh sandwich on the house. Give the man a sandwich. Hey, thanks a lot. If our minds are constantly reworking themselves with every new experience, are you the same person I started asking this question to? 
I don't know, guy. I'll, I'll see you later. Welcome to the Daily News Times. I can only help you if you have an appointment. Uh, I'm sorry to bother you. See ya. Man, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go because I cannot remember where I'm supposed to work. Here? Do I work here? We just put a fresh pot on. Can I get you a coffee? Remember, every cup's got a chance to win a prize. Sure. I'll take a cup of coffee. Sure thing. Here you go. You got a cup of coffee. <laughs> It's the devs. <laughs> we can get it across in metaphors, man. Metaphors. All right. Okay. You clever patoots. All right. Fine. Who's this guy? Sometimes I wonder if my anger is masking any inner human failings. Then I look at you, and it reminds me why I hate this world so goddamn much. Well, f yourself. The cookie factory. Oh. Oh God. <laughs> Terrifying. Get lost. Hey, but. Oh man. I found a figure. Sick. Are they just like hidden all over town? That's dope. Let's find all the figures. And sell them. Uh oh. Nope. I need to avoid that girl. Most people enjoy sunsets. They just remind me how little time we all have left in our lives. Alright, I figured. Fine. Hey, hey, welcome to Dirty Don's Popcorn Stand, where I sell fresh popcorn and absolutely nothing else. So, uh, do you sell anything else? I've got this envelope or something from this girl that I'm supposed to be seeing you for. Well, what are you waiting for? Open it, dog. You open the sealed envelope. It says... Well, go on, read it. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny that when a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face. Whoa, buddy, that's enough. You don't have to sing the whole song, man. I know why you're here now. What the hell was that? Oh, all my orders come as hip hop lyrics. Helps keep the cops from figuring things out, you know. When I sell my popcorn. Sounds like you need some happy pills. Uh. Now what's a girl like you need happy pills for, yo? Uh, they're for a friend. I need $50 worth of them. No problem at all. I was just thinking though, how would you like to save 30 bucks? Same number of pills and everything. That math doesn't... what? Oh, nothing shifty or anything like that. They're just local artisan pills. They're made from these eco-friendly toxins. Um, I'm no genius, but I'm pretty sure toxins aren't all that safe for humans. Yeah, but I also said eco-friendly. It totally balances things out, bro. Well, I guess that makes sense. No, it doesn't, Daria! God damn it. So what'll it be, loyal patron? Spend 50 Gs and get what you asked for? It's not 50 Gs. I have 30 Gs in there for no reason. Or spend 20 Ds and save the whales. Oh man, I mean, I'm giving them to some rando girl, so. Mm. I'll save the whales. Well, if I don't save the whales, like, who's gonna? So I'll take the stuff made from environmentally friendly toxins. Don gave you some fake pills. Right on, save the whales, save your money. That's what it's all about. All right, I'll give these to that girl and see, see what happens. 
This is like the hottest club in town. I've been lined up like all day long. So pumped. I'm not moving for anything. Okay. So did you get the stuff yet, honey? I want to try a happy pill before the show. Yeah, I got the stuff. Hope you like whales. Whales, I love whales. They're like my spirit animal. Oh my gosh. Was there any change? No change. Just make sure you take these with some friends around. You know, just in case anything happens. You gave Haley the fake pills. Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, I feel like dog shit. What the hell did you give me? I don't know. <laughs> I've had a lot of good memories here at the Phoenix. Jack Keefe should be waiting for me inside. Get to work. This is where I'm supposed to work. Whoa, lady. We ain't open yet. Um, excuse me. I said we're closed, woman. We're expecting a crew. Chill out, jerk. I'm working here today. Where's Dark Keefe? Oh, I'm the jerk now? I deal with women like you all night. You're nothing special, so don't think for one second I give two shits what you think. Sorry, did you say you give shits away to people like me? What does that even mean? Listen, woman. Clearly, that's a colloquial expression, so don't go acting all smartass on me. I doubt you even know what colloquial means, and I'm a writer, so... Catch you later, Wordmaster. I need to find Dark Keefe. Uh, this way? Yeah. Is this Dark Keefe? And the dead rise. You're late, baby. Did Benny give you any trouble at the door? Uh, no, he let me right through. There were no problems. We didn't exchange any, any words at all. Some bouncer he is. How have you been? You pumped for the show? Oh, I'm nervous. Really nervous. This is my first big show since I split with Viper. I don't know how well it's gonna go without her. I know what you mean. Not a day goes by where I don't wonder how differently my life would be if he hadn't left so suddenly. Jesus, we're on this shit again? Look, Poop left you, what, a year ago? It's time to move on, don't you think? <sighs> You're right. It's just not that easy for me. I don't know if you've noticed, but life's been kind of shitty for me ever since he left. How long are you gonna blame him for everything, dude? Seriously, you gotta take some responsibility. Remember, he left you because of what you did. You know what? Fuck you. Not all of us are happy to be rid of our ex. Not all of us dated self-destructive junkies. Not cool, man. Not cool. All I'm saying is that since I left Viper, I'm realizing how it's the choices we make that define us, you know? Am I worried about the choices I've made? Totally. Am I terrified that my music's been shit since I quit? Totally. At least I made a choice, man. <sighs> Whatever. Why don't you focus on your first sober show and let me get to work? Here's the fucking equipment layout. Try not to screw it up, okay? Got enough on my plate without having to deal with gear problems. Since you slept in, we don't have any time to redo anything, so make sure you get it right the first time. Oh, Jesus. Uh. Okay. Gears in these boxes. All you gotta do is put the right stuff on stage in the right place according to the layout. Seriously, a monkey could do this job, so you'd better not mess it up. Get it done perfectly, and I'll give you a hundred bucks, okay? I'll do my best, Captain. I'll head backstage and work the spotlights for you. You picked up the base. Here's my problem. I don't know what, which one the base was. <laughs> I'm gonna guess it goes here. I hope I put that together right. You picked up the drums. The drums go back here. Wait, are those just like, are things supposed to go in these places? Yes. Uh, 
Did it. Picked up the guitar. Hey, hi, Daria. Come give me a hug. Viper? What are you doing here? I thought you and Dark Keith split. You sure he's cool with you hanging around here before his show? Trust me, if I know Dark Keith, he's missing me like crazy right now. He probably already told you so, hasn't he? He hasn't said a word about you, to be honest. I hate to break it to you, but I think you two are Splitsville. Like, for good this time. I always know when you're lying, Daria. I also know when my baby is super nervous, which is why I brought him a present. It's a baggie of heroin. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Dark keeps been doing so well. What the hell is wrong with you? Hey, I'm not forcing the needle in his arm. Nobody is. He's a big boy. He doesn't need you making his decisions for him. If he's nervous about the show and this helps calm him down, then who are we to get in his way? He'll just get it from somebody else otherwise. You know what? Get the fuck out of here right now, you goddamn junkie. Dark Keith left you for a reason. What don't you understand about that? Go fuck yourself, Daria. You don't know the first thing about Dark Keith, what he needs or what he loves. You don't know a fucking thing about love. Good luck with the fucking show. If my baby bombs, it's all your fault. Ugh, I'm a psycho. You picked up the keyboard. Working up a sweat, working up a sweat, working up a sweat. You picked up the microphone. Well, that's as good as it's gonna get, I guess. Well, how'd it go? Take a look for yourself. Well, what do we have here? I'm gonna put this away. We'd get in a lot of trouble if someone found a bag of heroin on the floor during the concert. Damn fine work. Fuck yeah. So rare that I get to walk on stage with everything just the way I like it. Seriously, kudos. Here's the hundred dollars I promised you. You earned every penny. Sick. Thanks, man. Anything to help with the show or whatever. Look, I wanted to apologize if I came off a little tense earlier. You're my pal. I'm just super agitated being off the junk these days. No hard feelings? No hard feelings. I understand. You're the best. Benny said Viper swung by earlier. Did you talk to her at all? Was she looking for me? Yeah, she did stop by. Really? She didn't leave anything here, did she? Yeah, you already got it. That crazy junkie nearly took my head off with her bag of smack. You sure you don't want me to hold on to that stuff for you? I can get rid of it if you like. I'll be okay. Seriously, I appreciate the concern. I was gonna come across it again sooner or later. Well, I guess I gotta go get ready for the show. Feel free to come back to the club a little later if you're interested in working coat check. We're short-staffed and we could use you. Just talk to Benny at the door when you're ready to get started. Hey, Daria, you're a good friend. Wait, I could have sold that heroin! Ah, oh, he's really been there for me this past year and I totally could have sold that heroin, God damn it. Oh, you can do this, man. You don't need that crap anymore. You don't need her anymore either. Oh, d d d d d d d you didn't hear that, did you? Yeah, I did. You're right, though. You don't need that junk anymore. You're a goddamn rock star, not a junkie. <laughs> well, thanks, Daria. You've been a really good friend this past year. Even when your chips are down, you've been there for me. Thanks for looking out for me, man. No problem. You do the same for me. Are, did you, are you throwing it, hey, are you throwing it away or what? What's happening here? Ugh.
I have a crowbar now. bin is surprisingly empty. I wonder if people even wash their hands. Well, it is a men's restroom. <laughs> Blanket statements about people. Slut. Oh my god. Who says that? Where is the sink? Apparently we don't wash our hands either. Nobody washes their hands here. to just like open up oh wait there's a little do you see that there's a little baggie of heroin up there wait guys wait I could sell that hold on wait I guess that's where I'll work a code check later if I wanna oh, what a strange night I still can't believe Viper showed up like that maybe I should stick around for the concert and help with code check and again, Mrs. Tewelager did ask for my help. I suppose seeing what she needed would be worthwhile, even if I am more than a little late. Uh huh. Yeah, let's go back and see what old lady wants. I'm intrigued. You lost your chance to sell heroin? Damn it. Fine. It's like, whatever. Don't even care. F yourself. Goodbye, sir. I wonder if Mrs. Towelager still needs my help cleaning her apartment. I hope I'm not too late to lend a hand. Then again, Darkeep did mention I could work coat check tonight and I could use the money. But she offered to give us money too. Oh, who could that be? Hello, who's there? It's me, Daria. Oh, come right in. Sick. Hey, Mrs. Towelager, I'm here to help clean. Oh, you're a little late for that, Daria. It's all right, though. I managed to get it all done myself. Still, I'm very glad you came. You're such a good kid. Well, then I guess you don't need my help. I was just about to sit down to dinner. Would you care to join me? Uh, I was thinking of going to work coat check down at the club. I am pretty hungry, though. What's for dinner? It's a fresh lamb stew. Oh my god, that sounds so good. Oh, I'm so hungry now. You're going to love it. Come have a seat. We wouldn't want it getting cold. Oh, sounds great. You won't believe how hungry I am. Well, there's plenty to eat, so don't you worry about it if you want seconds. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't you say you were expecting guests earlier? Don't tell me I'm the only one who came. Oh, I never explained, did I? Tonight's my beloved Thomas's birthday. Every year we have a special little dinner together. I tidy up the house like he prefers and makes his favorite meal an old-fashioned stew. Oh, that sounds really nice. When's he coming? Oh, well, he's not exactly. Because he did. Thomas was my husband, but he's not with us anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, there's nothing to be sorry about, Daria. We had a wonderful life together, and he's still with me every day in my heart. I'm glad you're here, though. Sometimes today can make me a little emotional. It'll be nice having someone else to talk to for a change. Salad? Oh, hush. It's good for your digestion. You'll get your stew afterwards. Appetizer? <laughs> This game is going to make me real hungry, I can tell already. I'm so glad you decided to join me. It's nice to have young company for a change. Oh, it's no s trouble at all. It's my pleasure, really. I appreciate the kindness, Daria. 
It can be kind of lonely living alone these days. Well, considering I'm eating out of a microwave most nights, this is a huge treat. Didn't you cook for that boyfriend of yours very often? What was his name? Poop, wasn't it? Oh, we didn't eat out more often than not. We were both pretty busy, you know. Ah, I understand. Life can get pretty hectic nowadays. Life sure does move a lot faster than when I was your age. How long has it been since you last saw each other? I always remember he was so polite. We'd bump into each other nearly every morning as he was heading out the door for his morning jog. He was a meathead, to be fair, so... It's funny, the things you miss about a person can often be what you take for granted. The cruel parts that you never know you're doing in it at the but the such is life. Yeah, I guess. I really do miss him quite a lot. It's been about a year since we last saw each other. I still don't feel the same. Believe me, I understand how you feel. When you're so close with someone, their absence can be hard to deal with. I won't lie to you. That sadness you feel now may never go away. You're luckier than I was, though. You still have an opportunity to mend the rift. Oh, I don't know about that. Life's changed a great deal for both of us since we parted ways. Poop's not even in the city anymore, I don't think. Seems he wanted to get as far away from me as possible. A decision like that can be made in an instant, though. Who's to say what it really means? For all you know, Poop could be regretting leaving just as much as you do. Oh, I'm not so sure that's true. Things between us ended rather roughly. There's a reason we don't talk. A lot of feelings were hurt, probably past repair. Be that as it may, you're not a mind reader, Daria. A good relationship like the one you had doesn't die so easily. Actions can be amended and feelings can be healed. The only thing that truly divides people is time apart. You can't be so sure you know what's going on in someone else's heart unless you ask them yourself. Oh, I suppose you're right about the time apart dividing us. I'm not even sure if he's the same person anymore, to be honest. When I look at how much I've changed in the last year, I can't imagine Poop stayed the same. Oh, you've changed less than you think, Daria. Call me a nosy neighbor, but I've watched you come and go in this building for a long while now. Tell me what you think is so different about you today versus a year ago. You want to know how I've changed since Poop left? I guess the thing that's changed most is my lifestyle. I've really turned myself around over this last year. I started taking better care of myself. Oh, so you started getting to bed at a decent hour then. Is ordering delivery three times a week a new diet regime? Well, not exactly on either account. I mean, I'm trying, which is what counts, right? Ah, so no real changes yet. Not so different after all then. No, I guess not. Being the same person you were a year ago doesn't have to be a bad thing unless you think it is. Don't forget, that's who Poop fell in love with in the first place. Yeah, but it's also who he left. Main course! So, how are you enjoying the stew? It's really good. What's the meat in this? That's fresh lamb! I got it from the butcher this morning! Feel free to have as much as you want. I got used to making rather large pots of it. Every time I'd make it, my Thomas would eat at least four bowls just by himself. There were never any leftovers back in those days, I'm afraid. He sounds like quite the character. Do you mind me asking how you and Thomas met? Oh, it's a funny story, actually. It happened the summer after I finished high school. He was working at a garage near my house, and my father hired him to fix our old jalopy. Oh, my. I wasn't working at the time, so when my father asked me to pick up the car for him, I had no choice. I didn't even have a license at the time, so I was terrified the whole day, imagining myself getting it home. Well, that certainly sounds safe. How'd you get away with driving illegally like that? Ah, it was a different time back then. We didn't worry about little things like that. I was scared, but that wasn't going to stop me. I hated disappointing my father. So, I showed up to the shop scared out of my wits, and there he was. Covered in grease and sweat. A real man's man, if you know what I mean. Thomas could tell immediately I was clueless and must have asked me if I needed help a dozen times. I was stumbling over myself with how cute he was, so I just kept telling him I'd be fine. I wanted to get home as quickly as possible. <coughs> as possible, before I said or did something embarrassing. 
I was so distracted thinking about him that I crashed straight into a stop sign barely 20 feet away. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Thomas, the sweetheart, charged right over to see if I was okay. There wasn't a scratch on me, but the car was in pretty rough shape. I was terrified I'd get in trouble with my father. He'd have been so mad to find out what happened. Thomas, sensing my dismay, offered to fix it for free and tell my father he needed more time with it to keep me from trouble. His only condition was that I'd agree to go have dinner with him that weekend. They're holding hands, guys. It's precious. It's like in the moonlight and stuff. Oh my god. Of course I said yes, and the rest is history. Love's funny like that, isn't it? Was it the accident that drew us together, or was it our attraction that caused the accident? Sometimes I think these things are just meant to happen, you know? You're foreshadowing so hard. It sounds like you two were made for each other. <laughs> I just love ice cream, don't you? You don't hear me complaining. That is a huge- that looks like a- like a banana split, but like a fucking huge one. <laughs> that is the size of our heads. Just like a huge banana split. I've had a really nice time this evening. I'm very happy you decided to come by. Oh, it's like no trouble at all. I'm glad I came too. Still, I want to thank you for spending your time with me tonight, so I have something for you. What is this? These were my husband's baseball cards. He used to collect them when he was a boy. Some of them are quite old. They're probably worth quite a bit of money. I want you to have one of them as a token of my appreciation. You can keep it as a memento, or I'm sure someone will be happy to pay you for it. Oh, you can't be serious, can you? Please, I know how much you could use the money right now, and they're not doing me much good. They just sit in a box. I can't even bring myself to look at them anymore. I won't take no as an answer from you, so don't even make a fuss about it. I just don't trust myself not to get all weepy if I see which one you're taking, so I want you to pick by the time I return from the washroom. Just close up the box when you're done, and we won't say another word about it, understand? Yeah, I understand. Alright then, I'll be back in a moment. Wow, these cards really are ancient. I bet they'd be worth a small fortune to the right collector. I couldn't do that to Mrs. Toalagger though, could I? She offered me one. I'm gonna take one. Don't tell me to take them all! Come on, guys! Wow. The old lady is like the only person I've been nice to in this game. <laughs> Everybody else, I'm like, fuck you, man. But this old lady, you know, she fed me. She was sweet. I could have bought dinner, but I got free dinner. You took a baseball card. Well, she did invite me to take one. It'd be rude not to, I suppose. I hope I made the right decision. Thanks again for having me over, Mrs. Tewelager. You're more than welcome. Such a good kid. Here, take this with you. Some leftovers from the dinner to eat later. Ah, oh, you're the best old lady in the world. A young person like you needs to eat. Well, it won't pay my bills, but it's better than eating junk food. Thank you very much. You take care of yourself and have a good night. It's getting late, so I'm off to bed. All right then, good night. Bye, see ya. <gasps> it's nighttime, oh my god. 